I'm Nadia Escobar, your West Side Neighborhood News reporter, and several people who live here on Morris Street near Harmon reached out to me about this property. Some may consider this an eyesore for their neighborhood. I took their concerns to the city, but while I came for myself to check it out, I noticed code enforcement put a notice on this property, but not on this one. It, it needs to be cleaned up. Somebody has to be held accountable for, for all of this mess. Gustavo Salazar has been living near Morris and Harmon for over three decades. That's definitely not uh, biodegradable. He tells me that that's about how long the neighborhood has dealt with issues like this one. My main concern is the children. Uh, we're right across the street from an uh, early development center. The main concern is their safety. This obviously isn't safe for any pedestrian, a grown adult, much less a child to be out here walking or for anybody, for that matter, to be out here. Gustavo tells me these conditions didn't appear overnight. He blames years of neglect by the city. It's a whole pathway. I feel like I'm walking down the yellow brick road. We traveled to the very end of the pathway, and this is what we found. It's very dangerous. There's broken bottles everywhere, trash littering, um, brush, overgrown trees. I reached out to the city's code enforcement department. In a statement, they confirmed there are several overgrown and trash properties. The statement goes on to say that there is one property that may have become a homeless camp. Code enforcement says they plan to issue violations and to expedite the cleanup of two lots on the 2800 block of Morris Street. While we were on Morris, we did spot a code enforcement crew putting notices on some properties. The city wants to hold us, you know, to accountability for our property and for the trash that we have in front of our homes. Well, this is actually my neighborhood, so what, what, who, who's responsible for what, what you know, all, all of this mess? While being out here, I ran into a landscaper who tells me they plan to clean up the debris on Thursday. As far as the code enforcement office, they plan to come out to these streets and continue to make inspections for other properties. Reporting from the city's west side, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Nadia Escobar, Chris 6 News.